encourage you to note the happy, easy marriage of logic, observation, and metaphysics that comes together as we reflect uh, upon astrology philosophically in this deeper way. We begin to see how astrology bridges the rational, even scientific kind of mindset on one hand with a spiritual perspective, with the hungers of the heart. We no longer have to choose if we are astrologers or versed in this perspective on life, no longer have to choose between the mind and the heart. The artificial division of mind and heart, which sort of took over the Western mind and the Eastern mind to a great extent around the time of the so-called enlightenment, this, this rift between heart and mind. Astrology bridges it and has a healing effect, kind of bringing these two pieces together again. So we no longer need to choose between them. We can sit in a worldview that is comfortable with both, that feeds and satisfies the heart while not uh, insulting the mind by saying, just believe this or just take this on faith or put your money in this plate and everything will be okay. Astrology does not offend the rational mind. We can observe it working. And then if we're brave, and independent in our thinking, we can begin to let it carry us beyond the illusional world view that has come to represent reality as it might be dished up in a high school science class. I never want to sound